The name of the Lord is a strong tower, a strong tower for me. I was checking out this tree this morning and I felt the Lord minister to my heart. I felt Him teach me on what being strong looks like. You see, what makes this tree rise above? What makes this tree stand strong and proud? Or what has caused this tree to weather the many storms in life? Or what makes this tree branch out with bigger, wider branches that can cover a greater area? And as I was asking myself these questions, I felt the Lord say to me, brah, bam, don't look up, look down. <laughs> and so when I looked down, I saw that the tree had deep roots. I saw that the tree had roots that spread wide and covered a huge area. And I've also noticed that the tree's roots are just as big as the tree's branches. <laughs> and so this is what the Lord taught me. In order for us to grow up, we must also grow down. Hallelujah. In order for us to grow strong in the Lord, we must also root ourselves in His principles, in His Word, and in the power of His might. We need to grow roots deep down for the Lord. <laughs> now, with that being said, here at Hope Chapel Kona, we've just launched a new message series titled Stronger. And we're focusing in on the book of 2 Peter chapter 1, verses 5 through 8. And in these scriptures, the Lord reveals eight areas or eight ways or eight steps or eight levels on how to grow strong in the Lord and in the power of His might. Last week, we've kicked it off with level one, base one in this walk with Christ on a message titled Faith. And we are overwhelmed with joy for those that lifted up their, their hands this past Sunday and declaring that Jesus Christ is their Lord and Savior. Wow, the kingdom just got a little bigger. And so what a joy it is to do church and to do life with you. So please, in the upcoming weeks, you don't want to miss it. You want to grow strong in the Lord and in the power of His might so that you can be like this tree, rise above, weather the storms. And in order to do that, let's grow deep roots. Let's grow strong in the Lord and in the power of His might. Now, before I let you go, I just want to encourage you with this word. In my devotions, uh, in the book of Ecclesiastes, the Word of God states this, that the fulfillment of a dream comes with much effort. What does that mean? It means it takes work to fulfill the dream. God has a dream for you. God has a dream for me. God has a dream for Hope Chapel Kona, and it's just not going to happen. We have, it's just not going to happen. We have to be intentional. We have to dig. We have to do the dirty work. It's not going to look pretty, but He does promise that when we provide the effort to partner with Him in growing strong in Him, then He promises that the vision and the dream that He has for you and for me and for all of Hope Chapel Kona will be accomplished. Wow, can't wait for that to happen. So in the meantime, grab your shovel, grab your, grab your pick. Let's work out our salvation. Let's grow stronger in the Lord and in the power of His might by what? By how? By growing deep roots in the Lord. Looking forward to seeing you guys there. Aloha and God bless you.